You can stop the fire in the club, but you can't stop the fire that will rage down the street someday when we all smile. <laughs> Here we are at the Garrison Tavern, and we're going to be doing a punk event tonight um, with the bunch of fucking goofs, uh, legendary Kensington Market Band. And with me is Jennifer Morton, who's just written a book about the BFGs called Dirty Drunk and Punk. Jennifer, can you tell me why the BFGs and how long it took you to get this project together? Well, I first met them back in 1989 when I was a reporter on the new music. And um, I did a story on them. I spent about a month and a half hanging out in Kensington Market. And I was intrigued about what a creative collective they were, although they were hardcore. They're like Andy Warhol's factory. Um, and so a year, a year and a half ago, I ran into Steve and realized that he had all this archival stuff and he'd collected it and it was a really good story and it was a Toronto story. It was an insane, insane adventure. Steve, if you're out there, which I hope you are for Christ's sakes, but uh, Steve, I'm stoned and I'm drunk, okay, but I haven't huffed any glue. I haven't snorted any coke. I haven't shot any heroin or, you know, done any crack, all right? I have to thank everybody here, because half the room here contributed to the book. I want to celebrate the goose, because they live by their own rules. Keisha's my partner in crime on this uh, project. Jen and I had to do our duty and drink beer in the market with these guys. We were having a beer at the cheapest place in the market, I think, with this fine fellow here. And suddenly he breaks out into song, and we thought it rocked, so we're going to ask him to do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, Citizen Greg. War for our territory, war for our space, war for the ground we stand at, war's at our place. War's with the project boys, war's with the skins, war's with the local mob, almost war's within. It's not a reflection of our trip, because we're not fools. It seems that every faction has a different set of rules. He's the uh, den father to this motley crew. Um, he's the guy who made things happen. And um, he's also the guy who never did not cheat on his girlfriend. So, on that note, fucker, get up here and join me. <laughs> Crazy Steve Goof! We were a gang. <laughs> no, now he gives it up. Well, these guys ran a booze can 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So how did you keep the cops out, Steve? The physical idea of getting into a place with a, you know, a foot-thick door at the top of a fire escape. What makes a fort a fort? A leader! <laughs> a booze can? The locks on the door, Mr. <laughs> I'd have to go, I'd have to go with Citizen Greg on that one. The locks on the door was what made it a fort. No, you got to explain that beer was currency. People like, will do anything for beer. How many beers do you think you sold at the height of your uh, career? Impossible. I have an easier time judging how many women I've slept with. And that's a four-digit number, but I know I sold a lot more than a four-digit number of beer. Okay, so we haven't been together for like two and a half years in any form. Now I want to thank you all, really, for inspiring me to be filled with hate. The hate that drives me when I wake up in the morning and say, fuck, I drink a fucking beer right now because I fucking hate everybody so fucking much. I hate your stinking fucking world. It 